Hello children, good afternoon. Uh, well, today is Wednesday, 22nd of April 2020. The weather is very, very good. We have a, a very nice temperature with a sunny day and sun clouds. But it's, uh, it's a good day if you want to walk outside. But it's difficult now, okay? Because we stay at home. Well, now um, the first thing prepared on the table, class book, activity, notebook, and the pencil case. Okay, prepare everything on the table. Have everything ready for the for the for the lesson, please. Well, once you have prepared all your all your classroom objects, uh, we can start with the class book. Go to the class book page number. 39 okay go to the page 39 yesterday yesterday tuesday uh, we watched the the story and we read the story and um, today is time for the song the title of the song is where's my mouse donde esta mi ratón where's my mouse but first of all we have a new vocabulary okay the activity number 1 is listen point and repeat okay listen Point and repeat. Why? Because you have new words. You have some furniture that you can find in the in the house. Tienes muebles, furniture, and different mm, things that you can find in the house. For example, the fridge, frigorífico, the cooker, que es un poco la cocina donde se cocina, the TV, la televisión, the sofa, el sofá, the phone, el teléfono, and next to. Well, next to is very easy. Phone is very easy. Sofa. Simple TV. Everybody knows what is a TV. The the only one that is a little bit difficult is cooker. El, el, la cocina donde ponemos lo, las cosas en el fuego, vale, el fuego de la cocina. And the fridge. Fridge is the short of uh, refrigerator. Refrigerator fridge. Well, uh, listen. Now you listen and repeat. Okay. Listening eight. Activity one. Listen. Point and repeat. Repeat the words, one. please. One. Fridge. Fridge. Two. Number two. Cooker. Cooker. Three. Three. TV. TV. Four. Sofa. The sofa. Five. Phone. Phone. Six. Next to. Next to. Well, okay. If you need another repetition, you have the digital book. So you can listen to again in your digital book. Si necesitas otra repetición, lo escuchas en tu libro digital. ¿De acuerdo? Que para eso lo tienes. Uh, I, I, I want, to, I want to, to highlight something important in these words. Uh, the pronunciation of TV. V, no TV. With B. Los españoles solemos hacer la B. B, bilabial, el color dos labios. Si no es así, es T. V, con el diente al labio, ¿vale? V, TV. Cuidado con, no es sofa, es sofa. So, oh, oh, sofa. Y lo mismo pasa con phone, no es phone, es phone. Repetimos. Cooker, TV, sofa, phone. And finally, next to. Well, after this, in your notebook, please, in your notebook, you write... The word in the middle, you write vocabulary. Under the date, you write vocabulary. And you highlight or you underline with a red pen, okay? Blue pen, vocabulary. Eh? And you underline with the red pen. And also, you copy fridge, cooker, TV, sofa, phone, and next to. Copiamos el vocabulario en el cuaderno con azul, las palabras en inglés, with blue pen, the English words, and with pencil, the translation into Spanish, okay? Fridge, frigorífico. Cooker, el fuego de la cocina. TV, televisión. Sofa, sofá. Phone, teléfono. And next to, al lado de. Ah, one thing very important. How do you say teléfono móvil in English? In English, mobile phone. Mobile phone. Mobile phone. Mobile phone, M O B I L E, M O B I L E, mobile phone. Well, now I give you one or two minutes to write these words in your notebook, please. Os doy dos minutitos para que copiéis las palabras.
paráis el vídeo y esperamos. Well, now it's suppose you have finished, you have written the words in the notebook, and we continue with the activity number two. Listen and sing. We sing a song. I don't know if you if you uh, will like the song or not because I haven't I haven't listened before. You know, I haven't listened it before, but it's time to listen now. Listen. Listening nine. Activity two. <coughs> listen and sing. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? There's a mouse in the house. Where can it be? Is it in the kitchen? I can't see. Is it next to the cooker? Or is it on the fridge? There's a mouse in the house, where can it be? Is it in the living room, under the TV? Or is it on the sofa? Or next to the phone? Where's, Where's my, my mouse? mouse? Look, it's over there. This is the song, okay? Uh, I think the, the song is funny, it's, it's good, it's not very bad. <laughs> we have seen worse songs like this. Um, well, you have uh, the translation of the, of the song is There's a mouse in the house, hay un ratón en la casa. Where can it be? Where can it be? Donde puede estar? Where can it be? Is it in the kitchen? Está en la cocina. I can't see, no lo veo. Is it next to the cooker? Está al lado del fuego. O is it on the fridge? O está encima del frigorífico. Y luego, now the chorus, where is my mouse? ¿Dónde está mi ratón? Is it in the house? Está en la casa. Where is my mouse? Is it in the house? You repeat the chorus twice. Okay? Now the second part of the song is There is a mouse in the house. Hay un ratón en la casa. Where can it be? ¿Dónde puede estar? Is it in the living room? Está en la sala de estar. Under the TV, debajo de la tele, or is it on the sofa, o está encima del sofá, o next to the phone, o al lado, o perdón, sí, o al lado del teléfono. Mm -hmm. And then you repeat, where's my mouse, look, mira, it's over there. Recordad lo que dijimos, over there, es por allí. Por ejemplo, where is Sam, it's over there, por allí está. ¿Eh? There's my house, it's next to the chair. Vale. Now, if you need another listening of the song, you go to your digital book and you listen to the song again, okay? If you want to sing it, I think it's good because you learn pronunciation of the words, okay? Si la repites y la cantas otra vez, la pones en tu digital, tu libro digital, y te va a ayudar bastante a la pronunciación. La canción no es una maravilla, pero nos ayuda a pronunciar el nuevo vocabulario, eh? We, we learn the new vocabulary singing eh, this song. Well, once you have finished with the activity number two, we go with the activity number three. The activity number three is a, is a, a role play. It's a role play, um, and you need uh, you need two people uh, for this role play. Necesitáis dos personas. But what's the problem? You are alone in, in in your house. But if you if you want, you can ask your parents or your mom or your sister or your brother. You can ask them if they want to participate with you in the role play. And you can practice the, the role play. You can, um, act, you can act it out. Okay? So listen. Listening 10. Activity 3. First, listen and repeat. Listen okay? and repeat. Repeat everything and you What learn. is it? What is it? You repeat. It's a phone. It's a phone. Is it next to the TV? Is it next to the TV? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Is it on the bookcase? Is it on the bookcase? Yes, it is. Yes, Your it turn. Is. Your turn. Well, the vocabulary is very easy. ¿Qué es eso? Es un teléfono. ¿Está al lado de la tele? No, no está. 
¿Está encima de, de, del, eh, del este, del armario de los libros? Sí, sí está. Your turn tu turno, ¿vale? Es muy fácil. Now you go to your activity book and in the activity book you have uh, this page. And with your scissors, with your scissors and with the, your parents' help, you cut, you cut the, you cut the, the page, you cut the pictures, and you can see the first picture is a kitchen. Okay, you have the fridge, the table, the cooker, the chair, and you have some um, objects: uh, a glass, a telephone, a plant, a lamp, a cat, and a radio. Radio, cat, lamp, plant, phone. And the glass, okay? So you cut these uh, elements, you cut these objects, and also you have uh, the living room. In the living room, you have the TV, the bookcase, the window, the sofa table, the carpet, etc. etc. So you have two rooms and some objects. Um, ¿En qué consiste el juego? Os lo explico en español por si alguno se pierde. Muy sencillo. Eh, en vez de hacerlo como lo pone ahí, que a lo mejor os vais a salir un poco... No, no os vais a salir, sí sois capaces de hacerlo. Yes, you can do it. Yes, it's not difficult. Tú le preguntas a tu padre, a tu madre, a quien sea. What is it? O sea, tú primero colocas una separación. Eh? You separate, eh? so, you separate uh, uh, yourself from your, from your family member, ¿ok? Te separas de tu miembro de la familia, ¿vale? Con una cosa para que no te vea. Y colocas en tu, en tu dibujo, colocas, tú eliges la cocina o lo que sea, colocas eh, los objetos, ¿de acuerdo? Y, le pre, claro, eh, le tienes que ir preguntando, ¿lo veis? Tal y como es aquí, le pregunta al niño, ¿what is it? ¿Qué es? Dice, es un teléfono, it's a phone. Ella lo ha colocado el teléfono donde ha querido, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Lo veis? Lo ha colocado ahí, encima de, eh, de eso, no me acuerdo qué es. Así de, de la... No me acuerdo. Bueno, esto es que no se ve bien el dibujo, ¿de acuerdo? Lo ha colocado ahí. Dice, is it next to the TV? Está al lado de la televisión y ella, tú le tienes que preguntar para adivinar dónde lo tiene. Y si lo adivinas, consigues un punto, ¿de acuerdo? Y dice ella, no, it isn't. It's not next to the TV. No está al lado de la tele. Está encima de la, ya lo sé, la, la librería, ¿de acuerdo? Dice, is it on the bookcase? Tú sigues preguntando, el de aquí sigue preguntando hasta que adivina dónde está el objeto, ¿de acuerdo? Primero se pregunta, what is it? Y ya tú vas respondiendo it's. ¿Por qué respondemos con it's? Because it's an object. Porque son objetos. Con los objetos en singular se pone it's. ¿De acuerdo? Se pone it's. Nada de, nada de he ni nada de she. Que como ya sabemos es para eh, chicos y chicas. ¿De acuerdo? He para chico y she para chica. Es muy fácil. Y luego cuando te lo adivina dónde está, mira a ver si lo has puesto bien. Y si coincide donde lo tenéis los dos, lo veis que los dos lo tienen en el mismo sitio, está perfecto. ¿De acuerdo? So you practice this uh, activity with your family, okay? With your mom, with your dad, sister, or brother, okay? It's very easy, very simple. And then you, you change roles. Y luego cambiáis los papeles, ¿vale? Luego pregunta al otro y tú, y tú intentas encontrar el, el, el sitio, ¿vale? Bueno, pues lo único que queda de aquí, the only thing we have to here to finish the, the page number 39 is the, the, the quest puzzle. And the quest poster. So the A3. What is the A3? If you go to your poster, the quest poster, the A3, A123 is the number 9. Okay? Is the number 9. So in the quest puzzle, in the quest puzzle, unit 4, session 4, unit 4, session 4, we write the letter N because the word is 9. Okay? Aquí ponemos una N, we write the letter N, the 9, ¿vale? It's very, very easy. Now we come back. Um, where do we go now? We go to the activity book. Go to your activity book, okay? Go to your activity, wait a moment, where is it? Here it is. Go to your activity book and page, the page on page number 30, 39, okay? No, third, yes, page 39 in your activity book. Page 39 in your activity book. Wait a second, wait a second. It's coming, it's coming. Well, yesterday we did this one and now we go with the second. The second page, the page 39, is related to the song. 
you cycle and listen and write and then listen and check there is a mouse this is the song okay the song we have uh, we have listened to before now you complete the blanks with the words that you have in this box okay phone sofa kitchen living room fridge and cooker there is a mouse in the house where can it be is it in the so you cycle you have one two three options in estas opciones you have three options you cycle the correct one okay in this case the song says is it in the Living room, kitchen, or bathroom. The song says kitchen, so you cycle the kitchen and you complete the word. And you cross the word in the box. Now you continue with the second part, the second uh, verse of the song, the third, and, and so. Okay? I give you five minutes to complete this activity because it's very simple. If you don't remember, look at the the solution in your in your class book because because it's very easy now okay listen to the song and complete listen to the song and complete cycle the correct uh, thing and uh, write in the blank venga pararlo y hacerlo now the activity number two is write and then match you have another box with cooker fridge next to phone sofa and tv <coughs> And you have to guess, tenéis que adivinar, you must guess uh, which word is hidden in this, uh, in this, um, you know, in these shapes. En estas figuras, in these shapes, you have hidden a word, one of these words. Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. For example, the, ne the, the first one, it's hidden the word next to. So you cross, you write, and you match, match with the correct picture, please. And when you match the word to the pictures, use different color because it's easier for me to correct the activity if you use different color when you match, okay? Not only with the pencil, use different colors. And that's all, my friend. When you finish this activity, you have uh, completed the lesson of uh, we have to work today. Um, homework, yes. Uh, probably uh, I'll send you some homework in class dojo. The homework is related with is related to the to the questions where is or where are or it's or they are etc etc etc. So we probably will have homework, but the homework is in the class dojo. It's a worksheet I have prepared for you. Si sí, vamos a tener tarea, es una tarea que he preparado para vosotros. Y la mandaré por el class dojo, ¿de acuerdo? Y va relacionada con the, uh, where is y where are. ¿Vale, chicos? Venga. Un besazo, one kiss for everybody and uh, enjoy, enjoy the day and complete the, complete the, the activities. Recuerda la tarea, aunque no me la entregues mañana, me la quieres entregar hasta el viernes o el sábado, me la puedes entregar, ¿de acuerdo? Tú, el según el tiempo que tengáis, que sé que ahora mismo en casa estamos un poco robados. Y aquí tenéis el mejor equipo de, del mundo, ¿eh? patrocinando esta, esta lección. Bye bye. See you.